Hello friends, it is Miss Fushi, and welcome to a new game called Blank Dream. Um, this was translated by the same person who translated uh, Misao and The Witch's House and a bunch of other pixel horror games that I've played. And this one is newly translated, so it just came out a little bit ago, to my knowledge. So I'm really excited to play it for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right in. New game. I know nothing about this game. Absolutely uh, nothing. Okay. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say I've come to hate it all, I wish my life had never even existed more or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Well, we are off to a bright and cheery story with this one. Huh? She's so cute. Where is this? What was I just... Right. As the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Huh. Oh, look at that pixel. That's a different kind of character art than we're used to. We can save right off the bat. Let's save then. Let's see. I think the only way to go is up, so let's go up. It does look really cool. Huh. The mirror shows no reflection. No reflection. Hello? The girl sees herself in the mirror. Talk to her? <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror, obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories, right. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now, look into the eyes of your reflection. Ooh, choices already. Okay. This can't be good. Ooh. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Huh. A school bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Kikunomiya Academy, Class 1-2. Mishiro Usui. Her picture is on the cover. A familiar computer, the girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. A familiar dresser, the girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. The teddy bear stares with round eyes, the girl felt that this bear was very important to her. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. I guess this is my room. The closet is packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear clothes like this. The cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt that they all matched her tastes. This music is beautiful. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can save from the menu, but we can look at items and keys apparently. So we don't have anything. But that's cool to know we collect that. It went open. Huh. Maybe we should sleep? No. Hmm. Well, there's a mirror there, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with it yet. A small knife is in the drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. I got a knife. Huh. I wonder what I should do with that. I still can't open it. Mm, well, no makeup. I wonder. A smallish knife. Why not try it out? Oh my god. Is that what we're supposed to do? Now, this game, just so you guys know, it do I know it does deal with themes of suicide. Uh, suicide. Suicide and some other sad things. Um... So I'm probably going to put some sort of content warning at the beginning just to let people know 
in case they're sensitive to those sort of things. Okay, it looks like that's the only thing that I can do in the game. Not in real life, but in the game. So we are going to do that. Yes. The girl plunged the knife into her throat. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was cool. Are we back? We are. Huh? The girl came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. I thought she stabbed her throat. Welcome back. How did it feel, killing yourself in the mirror? What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh... Mishiro Usoi, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See, only partial, but you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died? Look for the mirrors in this world and then break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors? You'll get back your memories and at the same time grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you'll have it all back, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish? Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Huh? I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never existed. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Goodness gracious. Oh, there's a door now. Well, we are gonna save. Well, this game is off to a very, a very sad start, but it's really interesting to me. I wonder if she really wanted to end her life, or if that was an implanted memory. Oh. Hello. Where's this? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Whoa, I picked one heck of a moment to be here. Who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So, I'll bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I'm Yishiro. Oh, that's very polite of- Wait, you know your name? That's weird. It took me so long to remember my name. Where is this? This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe? I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, well, I remember having died with some strong wish. I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mishiro? <laughs> I remember my wish. What? You remember your wish? And... Know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not even fair, even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here. Because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. I wonder if I should be jealous of you. Whoa. When I remembered my name, I saw a mirror. It was so long ago, I don't remember too well. I'm sure those mirrors are important to this world. That's why it's called the Mirror World. All right. So we have made a new friend. Possibly. I don't know. Well, guys, where should we proceed? Uh, let's see. Well, there's a door straight ahead. Does it open? It seems unopenable, to the point that it could easily be mistaken for an oddly designed wall. Hmm. Well, there looks like there's signs all over the place. Let's check down here. Realm of Blood. 
bathe in it if you wish and go mad. Oh goodness. The gold door is locked. Hmm. I wonder which door is open for us. Maybe over here? Let's see. The silver door is locked. Oh, here's a wooden one. Realm of beauty, for womb does the brush dance. The bronze door is locked. Can't go in any of those yet. I wonder if we should go back and talk to you soon. <gasps> Oop! I want to see what this one says. Realm of greenery, let that meeting be a light of hope. All right. Huh. Decorative axes on display. A decorative shield. Decorative swords. Well, it says we can take one. Mishiro unfastened the latch and took a fake axe. Mishiro got decorative axe. Let's see what it says. Oh, we still have the knife. An axe for display. The blade is dented, not fit to use. Huh. <gasps> what was that? The decorative shield is smashed. All right, so apparently there will be jump scares. Another save point. Huh, there are a lot of save points so far. There's a tree. A large tree blocks the, pa blocks the path. There seems to be no other way ahead. Maybe we could use the ax? A dull decorative ax can't even make a cut. I didn't think so. Ooh, this music. What about this door? Ah. Anything here? There's a statue. A stone statue quietly looms. Can I push it? No. A box is full of axes for cutting trees. Take one. Mishiro reached into the box and took an axe. Huh. You know what? I learned a lot from playing the witch's house about putting things back. I'm gonna put the decorative axe here. I wonder if that did good. Well, considering nothing jumped out and murdered me just then, I think I did the right thing. Ooh. I think I'm getting a little smarter here, maybe. Ah, it's too thick to chop down with an axe. Darn. I wonder if there's anything else over here. Let's see. Ooh, that music gets so loomy and spooky. Bronze door is locked. Let's go back and go to the left and see if there's anything that way. Oh, goodness. The watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? That is just like Witch's House. You guys, I don't know if you saw, but there was a part where I had to take a... Uh, a bug out of a web and replace it with another bug, but the spider was colorblind so he couldn't tell. I made the right move! For once. Ooh. There's a teddy bear over here. It's gray. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. I don't think it's cute. Let's see. I hope I don't have to run from something in here. There's a fireplace. A weak flame flickers in the lantern. I carefully remove the lantern. Can I do anything with that yet? A weak light source. The fireplace quietly lights up the room. Huh. Mishiro heard the fireplace go out. The room was swallowed by darkness. I hope there's not a teddy bear out there somewhere. <gasps> what is that? Shit. Ah! Oh shit! I screamed! No. No jump scares. Oh god! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dead end. Oh shit. Oh! Oh! 
Ooh, I made it out. Oh god. That could have been so much worse. Oh lord. <laughs> oh gosh, good thing I took that. Okay, so... Oh, there's a tree. A dead tree. Let's chop this one down. Oh no. Mishiro fumbled with the axe in an attempt to fell the dead tree. Did I do good? Firewood. The axis blade broke, rendering it useless. Oh! What used to be a dead tree. It looks like it's bleeding. Oh, good. Ah! Oh, those are birds! Jesus! It's just birds! Shadow looks like it's moving on that. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna save. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, well, it's, it's it's not incredibly eventful so far, but it already scared me like twice or three times. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here because I think we've gone on long enough so far. I hope you guys like this game. I really want to know what's going on, and I love the visual style of it and the music and the fact that the jump scares just kind of happen. It's not really out completely in your face with it. So, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to click that like button down below. Let me know. Leave me a comment on what you think so far, and subscribe to the channel. We are over 900 subscribers now, and we are aiming for that 1K, so join and help us get to that number. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.